Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start with this chapter on Visualizing Solid Shapes. Firstly, we will study the views of 3D shapes. Then we shall move to mapping space around us. And finally, we shall discuss a formula for polyhedrons. We have already learned that plane shapes that have measurements like length and breadth are called two-dimensional shapes. A square, a rectangle, a triangle and a circle are examples of 2D shapes or two-dimensional shapes. Next, what are 3D shapes? Solid objects having three measures like length, breadth and height or we can say depth are called three-dimensional shapes. They also occupy space. That means 3D shapes also have a volume. A cube, a cylinder, a cuboid and a cone are examples of 3D shapes. We come across another 3D shape that is a ball and which is called a sphere. We discussed 2D and 3D shapes. However, in our practical life, we come across combination of different shapes. For example, consider an ice cream cone. We can see that it looks like a, a cone surmounted by a hemisphere. Hence, it is a combination of a cone and a hemisphere. Also consider this picture of a tent house. It looks like a cone is surmounted over a cylinder. That is, it is a combination of a cone and a cylinder. Likewise, you can find more combinational shapes around yourself. Now let us learn how a three-dimensional object can look differently from different positions so that we can draw from different perspectives. Let us consider this picture of a tent house and observe it from the top, from the side and from the front and try to draw the pictures. Then a top view will be something like this. We can see a line and slanting parallelograms if we see from the top if we see from the side our side view would be something like this we can see a rectangle a window and a parallelogram And our front view would be something like this. So we can see that from different angles, that is top, side and front, we have a different picture of the same hut. And we can conclude that different persons can give description of the same picture completely differently from one another.
depending upon the position from which they are looking at the picture. Let us look at this figure made by keeping three cubes together. Let us try to draw the top view. Clearly our top view would be something like this as we will be able to see the two squares from the top. Now let us try to draw the side view. Our side view would be a figure like this. This is the side view. And our front view would be something like this. So this would be our front view. Hence we come to a conclusion that different persons can give description of same picture completely differently from one another depending upon the position from which they are looking at the picture. Let us describe some special features of maps. A map depicts location of object in relation to other objects. Symbols are used to depict the different objects or places in a map. Maps use a scale which is fixed for a particular map. It reduces the real distance proportionately on the paper. And there is no perspective in a map. That is, objects that are closer to the observer are same in size to those that are farther away. So now we are in a position to compare maps and pictures. When we draw a picture, we attempt to represent reality as it is, seen with all its details. Whereas a map depicts only the location of an object in relation to the other objects. Secondly, different persons can give description of picture completely differently from one another, depending on the position from which they are looking at the picture. But this is not the case for maps. The map of, of the house remains the same irrespective of the position of the observer.